This is Margaret Ann Windsor. It's uh, 1126, and this is uh, Wednesday, the 21st of May, uh, 2014. Now then, this is the ongoing, and I either get locked up if I don't leave tomorrow. Even if I just, all I do is hand them the check for another week, and it's not because I've been telling what's happened to me. This is political for writing the book about mind control, medical malpractice, being flown out to Larry Flint's running in the congressional race, and being dropped off here in 86, and uh, telling about the Virginia Tech, that was a mind control uh, murders, and the psychiatrist, Fort Hood, he was from Virginia Tech, so there's a long list of them over the years, but they so I won't reiterate on that. What's happened is I have an immune disorder, and it's been used against me. And uh, if I'm forced fed, put in a room like I am now, or a car, and had to live there, uh, my immune system attacks itself if I'm made to inhale certain chemicals so that I have an allergy to. And uh, that's what's been done to me. Now then... My body has so deteriorated over the years, I can hardly walk from the inflammation, the very medicine that I'm given uh, to stop the inflammation uh, actually can cause kidney damage, just like the uh, inhaling uh, the chemicals. Now then, the liver, all of it, veins damaged, I can hardly walk. And I came here not by choice. I was living at Quality Inn Airport for 14 months and they sold it to a new owner and I had to leave and I came here totally because they only uh, told me that I couldn't stay any longer they were renovating and I won't go into all of it and the rate that I was getting so I came here now then the where I'm at the room I'm in the girl stayed for two years I came in and when I came in I don't know why her name's McKay the manager. It's Northern Drive um, in Salem, Roanoke. And she said uh, to me, we can't make you leave. Well, you know, I thought that was an odd thing to say. But anyway, they come in and clean, um, whether you like it or not, and they clean with chemicals that are horrible to me. I pass out. I even offered, and I've said this before, to buy an allergenic. And she comes up with a letter telling me to get out a week ago that I could pay another week. And this is the holidays coming up. But I could pay for another week, but I had to be out tomorrow. Well, I'm 75 years old, and I am so sick. And that yesterday, this is right after she finally gave me the letter, uh, a man was out there with hoes, and he was taking up the concrete or uh, taking the top off of it uh, where they painted it or something. And I was responding. He said it was just water. Well, I, somewhere along the line it wasn't just water, and I got him on video. But uh, I'm sure they say this was scheduled and had nothing to do with I'm There's just two little uh, apartments right here on the side. So there's not much more, if I shut down them coming in from cleaning with the chemicals, there's not much more you can do to me other than the sidewalk. And they're coming back. you got to think up something to do with that. Uh, and they're coming back to varnish it. That just would finish me off. Last night I was so sick. The particles were all over everything. He sprayed the air conditioning. He sprayed my window with all that stuff. And anyway... I can hardly, vertigo, I am really sick. I called her, and it's not by choice I even came here, but I called the manager and I said, she was at a ball game last night, by the way, I said, uh, if I hand you the check for the rent tomorrow, uh, Thursday, that's tomorrow, and this is last night I spoke with her, she was at a ball game, I said, uh, how are you going to handle that? Are you just not going to accept it? Um or you're going to have me arrested. So she said, well, I'll have to check with the owner, which is Lance Cooperman. Now then, today she just called me, and I have been passed out all night from whatever whatever he had in there yesterday. Uh, 
first of all, that was ludicrous. The, it's the sidewalk right outside my door, uh, kind of sidewalk that you walk on. It's cement. And it looked fine. And here he's breaking it up and the particles all over everything. And he's uh, part of it came through the door, underneath the door and all that. But anyway, I was so sick. So I, uh, she called me and she said, well, I guess I said this. I'm so sick I can't stand it. Vertigo and everything. And I've taken all the medicine I can. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, she called and told me, no, that I'd have to be out tomorrow. Well, that means losing what few things I have. I, I'm so sick I can't stand up hardly. And uh, I don't have another place to go. So I merely walked down there. I wanted her to tell me face to face. I walked down there sick as I am. And I said my question to you, and she's saying, get back, get back. I'm sick. Don't come near me. Well, she's just at a ball game last night. So this has been nothing but a sick joke. It's been ongoing. What could be done to me and get away with it? And she keeps her job, by the way. So I said, well, I'm sick too, as you can see. And I said my question to you was last night, if I give you the money tomorrow, the money order, are you going uh, are you going to take it, or if you don't, are you going to how are you going to handle it? She says this was her words. I'll call law enforcement and I'll have you escorted off the property. So uh, all of you people that like affordable corporate suites, and he owns a whole bunch in Virginia. He owns extended stays. So. Uh, if it were anybody else, this wouldn't have happened to him because it's been deliberate what's happened to me. Um, if it were someone else, I'm told that most places uh, have non allergenic they use. Instead, the letter she told me, which is a lie, it's her boss and it's the people telling them to do it. And this has gone on over the years. Um, so I'm going to get off. I'm so sick right now. But uh, if it were anybody else, they would have been accommodated. It would never have happened to them. So I'm sitting here as sick as I am, being told I have to leave or I ha would have the cops escort me off. Well, I can hardly walk. I wonder what they would do, sit me out in the middle of the street. Because this is your cops, and this is your American people. And if you care to go back and look at any of my tapes, Facebook, and um, you'll see the backup on it. Um, so that's it.